Hi, I'm Dan Aikman. I'm a sophomore in Auburn High School. My name is Natalie Hurley. I am a senior at Auburn High School. My name is Leanna Atkins, and I'm a junior in Auburn High School. My name is William Moser, and I'm a senior in Auburn High School. Hi, I'm Emily Stearns. I'm a sophomore in high school. So, first question, do you think there are distinctive groups like the preps and the jocks, etc.? There's definitely distinctive groups in this school. You're always going to find in the cafeterias that there's one certain kind of people here, and then certain groups sitting with each other. There's like preps, populars, jocks. There's like the band geeks, the musical ones, the artistic ones. Even the nerds and the geeks, I guess. And like we all just see each other as that type of thing. It used to be the, old, the, the jocks or the greasers versus the nerds. And that's no longer the way it is anymore, at least not in black and white. And you can, you can have groups of friends that aren't just made up of jocks or ath athletes. And it's, it's, all, it's all mixed together, and it's awesome. Hi, there's like these groups of people where you've got everyone who plays sports, and then you've got the rich kids, and then you've got people like us. They're just there and trying to help everyone else. Distinctive groups, but I wouldn't consider people preps and jocks. Like, you're not really labeled, I don't feel like. You know, you got the jocks, you got the just athletes, all the athletes, y'all have that bond. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely groups. Like, there's definitely no. groups. Like, I would hang out with my same group of friends every day, every weekend. But I wouldn't label them as much as, like, nerds, jocks, stuff like that. So then, second question. Uh, are there certain benefits to belonging to a certain group? Um, you just build really good friendships, I guess, and you just hang out a lot together, and it's a lot of fun. If you're in a richer group of friends, they might have people who are in higher, like, positions of power who are friends of their parents or something that could be useful to know if you want like a job or something it all comes down to being who you're friends with yes there are certain things for being a prep and there's things you get for jocks you know jocks get a letterman jacket that's a sign of higher status you know as the nerds who are playing video games on fridays they're not getting as much respect as someone walking around in a letterman jacket like even the teachers there's some teachers that if you're an athlete you get a you special treatments it, they'll never admit it like, no it. teacher will tell you they'll favor students but you can tell that yeah. specific people are favored over other people. Would you uh, be invited to more parties if you belong to the preps or something like that? Yes, you get like invited to plenty of parties, like big ones, small ones. Sometimes you get those epic parties that are like roof jumping into pools. And uh, invitations to parties, yeah, like stuff like prom king, um, stuff like student class officers, like things that we have to vote for. You, usually the preps win that. Do you think there are certain requirements to being part of the prep group? A popular group not being a very nice person you just have to be good looking that's from you know what I've seen and what I can collect you just have to be good looking I guess that's perhaps it. you have to act a certain way like if you do not act the way that you're supposed to then you will not fit in the jocks you have to be athletic like extremely if, if you're extremely pretty then your chances of being in a certain group are very heightened. Well, for a prep, usually they have like a lot of money and they have all the high valuable stuff like the new iPhones and they have pretty much money at their disposal so they can get whatever they want whenever they want it. You have to like wear nice clothing all the time. So you have to have money to be a part of the prep group. This is how a jock dresses. They don't care about the way they look. They wear the Nike sweatpants, the all rock the Auburn shirts and with the Timbs. If, say there's like a nerdy kid, they don't even want to accept you. If you're like act weirdly, they don't want to accept you for you. They just want to accept your coolness because they'll think you'll downgrade the, that group and make them look bad. Like that's how I see it. Everybody's trying to change themselves to fit into the preppy group. People will change to be in a certain group to become popular and they'll do almost anything for it. People have cut their hair, they've changed their clothes, their attitude, they've they just completely, their appearance has changed. And do you think there are kids who are like obsessed with being part of a certain group and then become depressed if they don't succeed in becoming that part of that group? There's some kids that would love to be part of like, you know, the jock group, but they just can't. Like there's kids trying out for hockey that are so, not even want to play, just want to be part of that organization where you can say, I'm on the varsity hockey team. Then they can hang out with us and they can, you know, just tell people. Oh, I'm on over to hang out with the high school hockey team over there. They'll drive themselves nuts trying to be the person that they want to be, but they're not. Like, if a geek and a nerd really want to be cool, they want to be athletic, and they want to be, like, liked by a lot of people, then, yeah, sometimes they, like, drive themselves crazy, and if they can't be that, then they're really depressed. Absolutely. They put so much effort into joining that group, and they're disappointed when they can't. What group uh, do you think you are a part of? I'm probably one of the geeks. The misfit. Misfit. 
my group is not being in a group. I'd say we're prep. The weird kids? Uh, Jocks. Jock, yeah. Nerds. Part of the prep group. Outcast. Because I don't fit into a group. That's what we call ourselves. So we don't fit into any group and friends with like everybody in every single group. We're just the outcasts. I'm Leon Atkins. Everybody knows me. I'm probably, probably one of the most popular kids in the school. All the girls want to date me. All the guys want to be me. Probably the most athletic, fastest kid, strongest kid in the school. You know, the girls want to date me. The guys want to be me.